You're watching College Baseball on the SEC Network. Tonight from Swayze Field in Oxford, Mississippi, it's game two between the Auburn Tigers and the Ole Miss Rebels, a top 20 matchup. SEC standing just two weeks remaining. Florida and Georgia playing in Gainesville this week. You see Arkansas on top of the West, Ole Miss and Auburn. Brady Feigl, the starter for Ole Miss, a junior from Chesterfield, Missouri. Big guy, 6'4", 230. He's been solid this year, but he's been especially good here at Swayze Field. No doubt, you gotta love Feigl. You know, that C on his shoulder is there for a reason. He's uh, one of the fiercest competitors in this uh, Ole Miss Rebel bullpen. He does, and he gets Brett Wright to wave at it. Couple of strikeouts in the top of the first. Brady Feigl says, all this talk about Casey Mize, don't forget about me. Runner goes, ball is dropped by Wright, and now Thomas Dillard is in scoring position with a full count to Cole Zabowski. Sitting on 699 at Ole Miss, 799 for his career. Keenan. Into right field, it's a base hit. This one falls past Williams. Dillard comes home to score, and Ole Miss leads one to nothing. Cockrell, fly ball, deep left, forget about it. Eighth home run of the season for Chase Cockrell, the junior from Bastrop, Louisiana, and Ole Miss leads three to nothing. 20 to five. This ball line, Kessinger robs a base hit from Josh Anthony. Fly ball to left, this one is crushed. Brett Wright leaves the yard and Auburn is on the board. 10th home run of the season. An emphatic first hit of the ball game for Auburn as Brent Wright turned one around. Goodness, that ball was crushed. Yeah, Feigl would like to have this one back. See how the season ends. He hits a fly ball here to left, going back to the wall. Davis still going back, reaches up and cannot make the catch. What a night for Tyler Keenan. We've been able to lay off that. Coach, last thing, Tyler Keenan last night drove in a run, had a hit. Tonight he's got a couple of RBIs as Greg Kessinger doubles down the left field line, and Ole Miss will have a leadoff double from Kessinger to start the bottom of the fifth inning. This one line to right field. Off the top of the wall, Greg Kessinger will come around to score, and Thomas Dillard cruises into second with an RBI double. He missed his 12th home run of the year by about a foot. Lined out to Kessinger to end the third inning. Chops this one to second, chance for two. Adams will tag the runner, throw to first, in time for the double play. And Williams 0 for two with a ground out and a fly out. He grounds this one to Adams, fields it in short right field, makes the throw and Zabowski scoops it at first. Keenan lines it into right field. Golson going to try to score all the way from first as this ball goes all the way to the wall. An RBI double for Tyler Keenan, and Ole Miss leads 7-1. to one. This one queued out in front of the plate, fielded by Fortes. He'll flip it down to first, and Auburn strands a couple in the top of the seventh inning. Snap throw hits Dillard in the leg and he will come home to score. Might have been picked off with a good throw. Arkansas with that one game lead coming into the weekend. This ball lined to right, that's down for a base hit and will score a run. Olenek runs it down to the corner and gets it back in towards second base. It's lined to Keenan at third, 100 pitches. Feigl's night is likely done. And Ole Miss will take a six run lead, eight to two. Into the bottom of the eighth. This ball lifted to left. 
And it sneaks over the left field wall, a solo home run for Brendan Venter. That is his 12th of the season. And Auburn makes it a five-run ball game. Venter wasn't even sure that ball went out. He was standing on second base, waiting for someone to tell him he hit a home run. Take down a very talented Casey Mize. And granted, there's still three outs left in this game. Rear Holston coming in. Eight innings of work, nine hits, three earned runs. Career high, 12 strikeouts for Brady Feigl. He'll get a hug from Greer Holston. Tells Greer Holston to finish it out. And there's that big ovation that you knew Brady Feigl was going to get as he heads to the dugout. The one, two. Strikeout number 14 of the night by the Ole Miss pitching staff. And Mike Bianco just recorded his 800th career win and his 700th as the head coach of Ole Miss. What a performance tonight by Brady Feigl. As I said before, the MVP of the game, and we certainly didn't see that coming with Casey Mize rolling into town, but uh, also the Ole Miss offense all up and down that lineup, they produced. 